Today this video is an update on uh, my previous uh, build a CB radio crystal set that I did back in 2014 and recently I just got a comment from a guy saying that I should use uh, an 18 foot antenna instead of my uh, 70 foot wire that I use for regular shortwave listening and stuff and I think he was right on that one and lucky, luckily enough I do have a, an 18 foot antenna it's a specially tuned uh, ground plane antenna on vertical and I use it for my uh, for my Galaxy DX959, this is the radio here I use, and uh, and this is going to be uh, hooked, and the, uh, the terminal is going to be hooked up to this uh, PL259 connector that I hooked up as well. And this is uh, the wire. This is the ground wire that hooks onto this uh, to the main metal of the uh, Altoids container, and this uh, goes on to the uh, to the center, and this is the antenna lead that goes onto the into the center of the uh, the PL259 connector. And I'm going to hook that up to my CB antenna and see how it works out. Well, here's my antenna. This is uh, this is the this is a rope. This is a rope here that's going across. It's going to uh, two trees between it, and uh, and in the middle here is a is a vertical about 102 inches long. It's been tuned with an SWR meter, and uh, and along the sides, this is the coax here that goes into my house, and these are the this is a radial the the, the insulator. And there's three of them. There's one over here, and another one here, and another one behind the tree. You can't see it too well. But anyways, I've uh, I've worked uh, I've worked a few areas around this country. Uh, I've I've uh, I made a few contacts in Australia and uh, the Great Lakes and Michigan and and uh, Minnesota, Florida. And it's uh, it's been it's done pretty good. It's uh, it's doing the job. It's getting the signals out there, so it should work uh, good for on the crystal set. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the coax to this uh, PL259 connector on my crystal radio and see how it works. Okay, now that's connected. I'm gonna plug this into an amplifier. Uh, you could use an earphone. I've tried using an earphone. I've never been able to pick anything up with an earphone because uh, the signals are quite weak. They don't uh, they don't measure up to AM signals on the broadcast band as far as uh, audio loudness goes. Uh, so I use an amplifier to power it. And here's my amplifier. It's a Marshall JMP 2203 guitar amp. That powers my Gibson Les Paul as well, and we're gonna we're gonna power it up. We're gonna power up this thing uh, and see if it works.
they keep falling back to the bottom, so they keep trying to validate where they got to go. Well, uh, my conclusion to the test is that it was a, uh, a success, and uh, as I probably expected it would be a success, considering it, uh, the original coax-fed antenna did so well on my uh, DX959, and uh, it also did just as well, uh, did a very good job on my crystal set as well. So, uh, so if any of you haven't probably done that already, you can probably hook this up to your Antron 99 or a 5H ground plane or even those multi-element beam antennas. I've never hooked them up to these type of antennas before yet, but uh, I think this probably this uh, radio as configured could probably do that. Just hook it up a cable back up to the end of here, and uh, you should be able to pick up uh, CB radio on this crystal set. Well, anyways, this has been uh, right up 196, and uh, I'm out of here. 73s.